Moisture is the enemy to all exterior products, none more so than for wood style and rail doors. Here we have a very tough wood exterior style and rail door, Simpson's Nantucket door, and how does it fight against moisture? In two ways. There is no veneer at all used in the construction of this door. It's all solid lumber. Two boards face laminated together made out of vertical grain Douglas fir or sapili mahogany. Now what that does is that allows the door to, to be sealed up and moisture doesn't get in. It's very, very durable. The construction technique in this door is very special. There's a mortise and tenon construction with face pin used to make this joint virtually indestructible. It pulls the joint together and again, it really can never come apart. The Metropolitan door by Simpson is also a very tough door. It also utilizes solid lumber construction. There's no veneers in this door. Now, you'll notice that there's no face pins. This utilizes dowel pin construction. Holes are drilled in the styles and the rails. The holes are filled with glue. Dowel pins are inserted in those holes and the door is clamped together. There's also glue painted or sprayed onto the entire coped area. The coped area is where the style and rail comes together. That's also a very tough joint, not as tough as the Nantucket door, but still very tough. Both the Nantucket and the Metropolitan door can be used in any kind of exposure. The Performance door by Simpson does utilize some veneered components. The bottom rail was solid lumber because that's the most vulnerable part of the door. Now the style is veneered, but there is a composite block at the bottom of the style that does not allow any water to get into that core and create problems. The styles and rails use dowel pin construction and the cope is also covered with glue, just like the Metropolitan door. Now a version of the performance door called the water barrier can be used in any exposure because that utilizes a medium density overlay over the entire exterior side of the door. It's paintable only for the exterior. And then finally, we have a standard construction wood door. Now this utilizes veneered components that are very susceptible to moisture and the style and rail joints are simply dowel pin. There is no glue at the cope. That means that water can get into that coped area it's not sealed out by the glue, it can swell, it can allow more moisture in, and that's when you get rot, decay, and veneer delamination.